Okay, so let's get started uh, customizing this terminal program to, uh, to make sensor reading easy. So first of all, the terminal program here has a three horizontal line. Tap that line, uh, three lines, go to settings, and uh, make sure uh, under serial, you have baud read of 9600, and then eight data bits, parity no, and stop it one. So that's uh, the requirement. Then go to terminal. I set the font to the largest possible because if you're using this in the field, you want the display to display larger fonts. And uh, I also disable the to show timestamp right here so that it doesn't take extra space to display one line of command. The receive is, is good. And send over here, I disabled the new line. It was auto, but I put it as none. And also, I added a line delay of 15 millisecond, 1500 millisecond. That's 1.5 seconds. I'll talk about why this line delay is is needed right here, and what value you should put. And here's also miscellaneous. I discovered here you can have more buttons here. I had two rows of buttons. Maybe you want more or you want less, but at least one row is recommended. And also, I checked the keep screen on when connected, so then your screen will not turn off when you're uh, walking around with your sensor and your smartphone. Okay, so back here, I already tapped connect right here. We can disconnect and connect back again. It says an FTDI device. And uh, and then we can, we can send out command right here because I disabled the new line and now we can actually do this right. For example, D, uh, sorry, Z, I, exclamation sign. This identifies the SDI-12 adapter this will say there, see that the green line here identifies as my adapter uh, firmware version 1.5.3. And, um, and we can do other commands, for example, one, I, this identifies the, uh, the sensor connected to the adapter, which happens to be a Dacigon 5TM soil sensor. So there we go, the green text says uh, one three one is the address one three is one point three version of the standard and then the Decagon five TM and also a version of firmware. Okay, so if you want to read, you start with one M that sends the measurement command. See that now the measurement command is over. You can read back the data. You do one D zero. So this is the first batch of data, which is the only batch of data because the sensor only has two values to return. There we go. 1.04 is the uh, dielectric um, uh, primitivity, which basically is the sensor in the air is not is not buried in the soil yet. 25.3 that's the temperature in, in degree C, so that's indoor temperature. Okay, so now you know how to get this done, you can actually get this done in the macro, something like these buttons on the top. So the top one here, which was L1, I'll just uh, long press the L1 here to show you what I had here. On the top, this is just a name. You can name it anything you want. You can say measure, M-E-A-S, one, that which could mean, okay, that's measuring sensor one. And the value is the, act, uh, the exact text or, or uh, command sent to the sensor. So I, I chose this multi-line text here to indicate I want to send out multiple lines and M, 1M is the uh, measurement command, 1D0 is the read back the data. They, there's a new line in between them and remember there was a setting here, so setting right here under the send, line delay is 1500 milliseconds, right? So that's one and a half seconds. If we look at this number right here, that one means, oh, sorry. This one right here, zero, zero, one. Um, it means it needs one second to complete its measurement. So it's better if you have in between your lines of the macros a little longer than the one second. So I set it to one and a half seconds. And if you press this button, let's clear the screen. If you press this button, it does two steps in, uh, in uh, basically one press. So it sends out the measurement command and then extracts the data. So if you're walking around in the field, you're trying to get something done, you can just tap this button. Okay, so I got it. Maybe you want some averages. You tap it a few more times and you have an average. It looks like it's not changing. It's The sensor is actually sitting on my sofa. It's 
just very much constant. So this tells you um, how easy you can you can make the uh, SDI 12 sensors work just basically reading out on your smartphone. Um, I'm pretty sure there's there's similar programs on iPhones and and uh, they probably use different uh, um, adapters. I'm using a uh, USB C uh, adapter to connect to the uh, USB SDI 12 uh, adapter, but that's a that's a pretty common. Uh, adapter you can buy it for a few dollars on Amazon so uh, hopefully this helps you understand how to um, how to do basic sensor readings and also how to uh, set up this particular program to to make the, the reading really simple say for example if this is that I can say I can make a command identify the first sensor so what do I do is one I exclamation sign okay so then if I just tap this button here identifies the first sensor it basically sends the command in one I exclamation sign then it returns the value so really simple hope this helped thank you